friends now we have to solve linear equations 4m plus 6n is equal to 54 and 3m plus 2n is equal to 28 by Kramer's rule don't forget to subscribe our channel so that you will get our next coming videos friends two linear equations are given and we have to solve them by Kramer's rule next one is 4m plus 6n is equal to 54 but in this first equation there is a common factor 2 so dividing both the sides by 2 we get 2m plus 3n is equal to 27 so we have to consider this equation as number 1 second given equation is 3m plus 2n is equal to 28 this is number 2 First, we will find determinant D. Now, determinant D is what? It is determinant of order 2, means 2 rows and 2 columns. In column, in first column, we have to take coefficients of m, in this case, coefficient of m, and in second column, we have to write coefficients of m. So, is equal to determinant is 2, 3 in first column as a coefficient of m and 3 and 2 in second column as a coefficient of n. So, its value is equal to first term is 2 into 2 means product of the elements in principal diagonal minus second term 3 into 3 means product of the elements in secondary diagonal is equal to solving this product we get 2 to the 4 minus 3 to the 9 is equal to 4 minus 9 that is minus 5 so this is the value of determinant d now we have to find determinant dm means determinant related to variable m this determinant is also same as above only we have to replace first column means we have to replace coefficients of m by constant term see first column now we have to write constant terms 27 and 28 instead of coefficients of variable m second column as it is coefficients of variable n 3 and 2 so its value is equal to first term 27 into 2 as the elements in principal diagonal minus 3 into 28 as the elements in secondary diagonal which is equal to solving these products we get 27 into 2 54 minus 3 into 28 that is 84 which is equal to 54 minus 84 that is minus 30 this is value of dm now we have to find determinant dn, determinant related to the variable n. So this determinant is also same as determinant d, but here we have to replace coefficients of second variable means n. Coefficient of first variable m remains as it is in first column. We have to only replace second column by constant term. See, first column 2 and 3 as it is as coefficients of variable m and in second column instead of coefficients of n we have to write constant terms 27 and 28 so its value is equal to first term is a product of 2 and 28 2 into 28 as a product of elements in principal diagonal minus second term second term is a product of 27 and 3 means product of elements in secondary diagonal so is equal to solving these products we get 2 into 28 that is 56 minus 27 into 3 that is 81 so is equal to subtracting these two terms we get minus 25 this is value of determinant d n now we have three values here for three determinants value of d is minus 5, value of dm is minus 30 and value of dn is minus 25 and we have to find values of the variables 
m and n so let's see value of variable m is equal to its formula dm upon d so substituting the values of dm and d we get minus 30 as the value of dm upon minus 5 as the value of d is equal to 6 so value of variable m is equal to 6 and value of variable n is equal to its formula dn upon d so substituting values of these determinants we get minus 25 as the value of dn upon minus 5 as the value of d solving this we get 5 so 5 is the value of variable n so like this we can solve any linear equations by Cramer's rule and we can find values of variables. Friends, don't forget to subscribe our channel to get our new coming videos. And if you like this video, then don't forget to push the button of like.